Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the Week in Review. And as a special bonus for those who uh, make it to the end, you'll get to see what I've got these racks behind me filled with. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge. We do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So as we take a look at shoes this week, I'm sticking with the art theme from last week, but I started with some Capto Oxfords. Here are some from Alfred Sargent. Uh, really kind of cool look to them, something a little different um, than uh, these are Carmina's. And then I started the April Adelaide event, which is uh, gonna go all month long. Uh, started off with these beautiful hatch grain by Patrio, and then by another pair of hatch grain. These are from Enzo Bonifay. Then uh, over the weekend, I decided to go with boots. Uh, these are the service boots from Hig uh, Allen Edmonds. This is the Higgins Mill. And then another Allen Edmonds. This is the Santa Mock for Easter Sunday. One of the things that is fun for me is taking a look at shoes and understanding the asymmetry. You can see as the shoes angle to the side, this is not an error in the shoe. Some shoes are even and some shoes angle to the side. That's part of being hand welted and is intentional. But first things first, let's take a look at the shoes because that's why we're all here. Now I went for these in suede and wanted to do a two-tone suede. So you see the, uh, the way that they did the combination of the two suede materials. Love the stitching, All right. Real nice hand stitch. Now his factory is in Spain and um, really like the way that these came out. Now this is a uh, leather sole um, I asked for it to have a fiddleback waist and toe taps, which they did, perfectly flush. Um, Welcome. So as we take a look at the, this particular shoe in review, this is a Luff and Tongue Cole. I purchased this in 2020. Um, early in the year, um, and this is a chuck-a-boot in Utah calf. And candidly, I'd heard of Luff & Tong. Um, it's an e economical brand, um, solidly in the tier four category from a price standpoint. And um, I, what really turned me on to this is that it's Utah calf. Um, as I look back at my shoe journey last year, um, Utah calf seemed to be at Edward Green. It didn't seem to be anywhere else. And so I wanted to uh, try it out, but I didn't want to drop 1600 bucks on a pair of shoes. So I found two pairs. I found a um, chuck -a boot from Liff and Tongue, and I found a split toe derby from Sons of Henry. And both turned out to be wonderful. Um, this is my first uh, chuck -a boot in a while. Um, I've had a few, um, not necessarily the most comfortable, um, the way the chuck boot lines up doesn't necessarily agree with my ankles. And you can see I did some experiment with different ways of shining. Um, and overall, you know, Utah Calf has a lot of oil in it um, and uh, just has holds a shine pretty well by, by itself. So um, it's a beautiful boot. Um, it's a beautiful cut. I have Meerman trees in it, but don't hold that against me. Um, they're nice trees. And um, it just... Uh, if you look at the stitch density here, um, it's doing pretty well. They did a great job with it. These are made in Spain. Um, and Le Fintang is actually the house brand for Skokti Bologay, which is a uh, great um, shoe store um, uh, in the, uh, uh, I believe it's in Sweden, um, but uh, I will have to check on that. So um, very, very happy 
with the way these turned out. And they are a the only chuck boot in my collection, but uh, a very, uh, very nice piece. By the way, a lot of people don't necessarily watch my videos all the way through, so I'm gonna throw in a plug here for the end. I'm actually going to do a whole review of just going through each of my shoes on the shelf um, for, for you. So if you wanna stick around to the end, that is gonna be there. Uh, if not, um, I am going to uh, post that as a separate video as well, since so many people miss it and have been asking for it. So thanks again. Welcome back. And this is a 2019 purchase. And over the 2018, 2019, this is one of, and 2020, this is probably one of three shoes I've actually purchased in person. Um, and it's a funny story because I actually um, knew I was going to San Francisco and had been there and tried on um, a couple pairs of shoes there before when I was there. And then I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm online on like a Sunday night. I was flying out there on, on Monday and I thought, hey, I'm going to order some shoes. And then I thought, well, I really want to wear these while I'm there. So I ordered two pairs in calf, basically the sister model, the 962 in calf and the 979, which is a beautiful long wing in calf um, online. And then I um, went and I uh, purchased these in the store. And of course, then I solidified my sizing and, and talked to the guys and everything. And it was a great experience. Uh, the Alden uh, shop in downtown San Francisco is actually owned by Alden. And uh, the sales staff there is, you know, second to none. They're just wonderful, wonderful folks. Um, and this is a Shell Cordovan on the Aberdeen last. And you can see it's held up really well. It's got a lot of wear. Um, uh, you know, this is pre-COVID. So... Uh, you know, by, by a, a long shot and, uh, you know, walking, uh, the cities of San Francisco every day. Um, I got to, uh, got to give it a, a bit of wear. So it's a, it's a beautiful shoe. And, uh, I, I really think that the shell cordovan color at Alden really is, uh, beautiful. I love the way it's uh, maintained over time. I love these, uh, just ginormous leather soles and the, uh, you know, the quality of everything that Alden does. Uh, has been really good. So, um, you know, it's been a great experience. They are expensive. Um, you know, I think these were 862 bucks. So it's a, um, it's a, it's a heavy investment. If you're into Shell Cordovan, that's not necessarily that bad. Shell Cordovan is normally going to range 700 to a thousand bucks a pair. Um, more if you get, you know, some of the uh, Italian, you know, hand welded variety or you go, you know, St. Crispin's or, or Gaziano and Girling or so forth. But it is a, um, it's a great material. It's a very unique look. And I think that this shoe is uniquely American, just the overall style and the way that, uh, you know, this hand stitching is. You know, um, this hand stitching, a lot of people take it for granted when they look at a lot of split toes, but I ordered a pair of boots from Alden that had this kind of a stitch pattern in it. It called a Tinker Boot. And the weight on them was, nearly a year because there's not a lot of people in the factory at Alden that can do this stitch. I later learned that's true of most factories, um, even at, you know, the infamous Edward Green, where they make the, the beautiful Dover. Most of those shoes are made by two men, father and son. So it's a, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful type of shoe to collect. It's a wonderful piece of craftsmanship that's not readily available in the marketplace and it is flawlessly executed and just a joy to own. No change to the pipeline this week other than the new shoes that arrived. Uh, I do have this great update on these um, split toes coming out of Japan. You can see that they're hand welted and you can see the lovely work that's being done as they come to fruition. Super excited about these Ichigo Ichis. So I've been thinking about what's next, and I've chosen two shoes that I, I'm thinking I'm going to add into the collection next quarter. Uh, the Corte Arca, which is a famous one. I looked at it in green, really excited about that. And then the Aubercy um, Andre is another really unique and wonderful shoe. And now a little bonus for those people who stuck it out looking at the whole collection. 
All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a look at the entire collection. So Abe Lincoln from the Washington Nationals is here to say hello. And here we go, starting to look at some shoes. We have the uh, new split toes coming in from uh, Crew Non Pareil, uh, some Carlos Santos, some Bontoni. This is all suede split toes. You Crockett and Jones, Carmina, TLB. And then uh, on the shelf below, we have Fugashin and a Paraboot. And then now we have some, some mixes, right? We got the John Lobs. You've got a pair of Alfred Sargents, Carmina, another pair of Alfred Sargents. Uh, these are the Capto Oxfords, the only ones in my group. Now we move on to the split toe section and we start with boots up at the top. Some GNG, Carmina, some Alden. And then we get into my hand welted. St. Crispin's, Acme, uh, Paolo Scafora, the Yosol, the Hephaestus. Uh, these are October 10th. These are Enzo Bonafé. These are Ascot. And those are Meerman. And then um, this is, uh, these are now Goodyear welted. Uh, those are Edward Green. This is, uh, this is all actually um, Utah calf, so the Meerman, the Edward Green, and these are Sons of Henry. Now, these are other Goodyear welted in grains, pebble grain. This is uh, TLB Mallorca, Foster and Sons. That's a Meerman. This is from the Armory. And then there's a Willow Green from Meerman. And then we've got some Shell Cordovan from Alan Edmonds, from Alden. And then a nice museum calf from Sons of Henry. And then some Allen Edmonds, two pairs of Allen Edmonds, the Del Rey and the Walton, and then a pair of Bruno Mollies. Now we have some boots, a pair of Chuckas from La Tongue, cowboy boots from Cuero, Rover boots, uh, Allen Edmonds service boots, the Hickens Mill. This is the, um, it's not this is not the Hamilton, this is the 5th Street boot in Shell Cordovan. This is the uh, Santa Mock boot from the University. This is an uh, Austerity Brogues, uh, some, uh, this is all wingtips here. Um, this is the, uh, or actually all Brogues, but um, the Austerity Brogues are from Gaziano and Gerling and from J. Fitzpatrick. And we've got a pair of Vass, Paolo Scafora. Stefano Bemmer. These are Alfred Sargent, Meerman and Cognac Shell, Heinrich Dinkelacher, TLB, Churches. And we go down here. Those are Cheney, Meerman, uh, Carmina, Alan Edmonds. Oh, that's a Cobbler Union. Those are Barker for Edward James. And this Alan Edmonds. Skolix and Alden for the wing tip collection. And now we have Holcuts from Meerman, Michael Darren. These are Mecca Riellos, Enzo Bonifaz, uh, Crockett and Jones, actually Crockett and Jones, Foster and Son, uh, Loke. Um, those are Cleverly. And then we have Adelaide's. These are the Barbonero, Enzo Bonafé, Patrio, Carlos Santos. This is Alfred Sargent, Crockett and Jones, Gaziano and Gerling, Hephaestus, St. Crispin's. This spare and shell Cordovan is Alan Edmonds, Loke, Skolix. Cleverly, Altan Bottier. It's another Loke, CNES, Carmina, Trickers, October 10th, and yes, these are TLB Mallorca. And then to my plain toes, uh, Shell Cordovan PDBs from Alan Edmonds, Carmina, and Alden. And then my regular PTBs uh, from Crockett and Jones. Actually, those are trickers. These are churches. Those are Crockett and Jones. And then my loafers. These are Mecca Riello. 
Those are Meslin. These are Alton, Edward Green, and Yoso.